Welcome to the first part of the series about creating weather app with the UI kit. My name is Arthur and I'm here to make you a better developer. First things first, let's talk about who the hell and why do I personally need this series. If you are a beginner iOS developer and you are searching for some resources where you can improve your skills that you already have and develop new one, well, here you are. I tried to make this course as helpful as it could be. I used all of the modern and uh, useful topics out there we will study further in these courses and that's absolutely for free. Talking about me, I want to improve my skills and improve my way of teaching someone and I think it will be a great and useful experience for both of us. I hope that you will love this course as much as I do love iOS developing and together we will make each other a better developer. I'm waiting for your feedback right below in the comments and uh, remember that this series or this course if you want to name it that way is absolutely for free for you and uh, I put a lot of effort in creating it. So enjoy! So the app we'll start developing today is a basic weather app and let's talk in details what technologies we will be using and what you will learn during this series. First of all, for the app architecture I decided to use Viper, that's a well-known architecture in iOS developing sphere. And why not MVVM? And the answer is simple, just because I think Viper is a bit uh, more complex than MVVM and it's better to learn both, but in this course we'll be using Wiper. For the UI part we'll be using UIKit with a SnapKit framework to, for the auto layout. Further in this course we will be diving into dependency injections and why dependency injections are bad, uh, better actually than singletons. Also, we will create our own network module using Alomafire and we will learn how to map the data. For our reactive programming and data binding we will be using Combine and for concurrency we will be using Swift Modern Concurrency but we also will be talking about PromiseKit a little bit so bear with that. So the full text tag for this app is UI kit with a combination of SnapKit for auto layout, then Alomafire for networking, combined for reactive programming, factory for dependency injections, Swift user defaults for user defaults, and the architecture of all of this will be Viper. And from this point, let's jump right into the coding. So let's begin by creating a new Xcode project. We will use the regular app and we will call it Weather App. Make sure to use storyboards and create the project. Next thing you want to do to remove iPad and Mac, set the correct iOS version to use. Also turn off the landscape mode for our app. Next thing we want to do is to remove storyboards, so let's go to the build settings, find the main storyboard and remove it here, make sure that we don't have it in our project itself. So again, main, yeah, we don't have it. And the next thing we want to do actually is to remove the storyboard itself. Let's create a new folder called resources, that's where all where our assets will be stored and remove the, all the comments from the view controller. Also to see if it works we will set the background color to the red color and create a new folder called features core, well we don't need core right here, so let's remove it and arrange the folders a bit and we will bring our view controller to the features folder. Also remove from the scene delegate all of these comments. Let's remove all the 
comes from here, create the window scene, then create the window from this window scene that we have, we have over here. Let's assign the root view controller to our window as view controller. Uh, self dot window equals the window and window key make key and visible. Let's build our project. And we see that we have an error. Actually, we forgot to remove the main sidebar from plist. Let's do it and build one more time. Yeah, our view controller works. So let's create a new group for feature. The main feature will be weather forecast. Here we'll be having some stories for our screens. The main screen will be weather forecast. And here, let's create a new file called weather forecast view that's going to be our main view controller for this feature import foundation import ui kit class weather forecast ui view controller let's uh, create view did load super view did load view dot background color system green to make sure it works remove the old view controller we don't need it actually anymore now let's create two other files that we would need that's and presenter so the same thing, import foundation, class, weather forecast presenter, and the interactor. Weather forecast interactor, import foundation, class, weather forecast interactor, and leave it for now. Let's go to our view and create the reference to the presenter. So it's gonna be weather forecast presenter is optional. Presenter needs a reference to the view, it's also going to be optional, and interactor, once again, interactor optional. And the interactor needs the reference to the presenter. So let's make it really quick. And the last thing we need to do is to create a configurator for our feature. We will use it to create all of the screens that we need, import foundation, import UI kit, class weather forecast configurator, and we will have a only function here, this configure, it will return UI view controller, so let's create our view, let's create our presenter, and let's create our interactor. Let's assign our references, so view presenter presenter, presenter.view view, presenter.interactor interactor, interactor.presenter presenter, and return the view. Let's get back now to the presenter, create the test function and just print it out in console that presenter works. And the same thing for the interactor test function, we will remove it afterwards, interactor works. Let's call the interactor test function inside the presenter test function. And call the presenter.test in the view. Also, I forgot to clean the app delegate, so let's do it really quick. Let's get back to the scene delegate and here we want to uh, call our configurator and configure our view instead of view controller. Let's build the app. And as we can see, we get our green screen and in the console presenter and interactor works. So now we can just remove it. And we have our basic setup of architecture done. Also let's make this configure static, not to create the instance of configurator, check if it works, works the same. In today's episode we have created the foundation of architecture for our app and we consider this episode as a pilot for this series. 
and in the next episode we will go on and create the UI for our main feature and bring up all the frameworks that I have mentioned in the beginning of this video. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a feedback right below in the comments and have a good one, alright?